welcome to another episode of PSRE Science Made Simple. I'm Vanessa, and I'm a PSRE Science Specialist here at the Pink Lab. In this video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question on the topic of matter. I have also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So let's get started. Question 12. Mutu hung two objects on a weighing balance and observed the folding. Let's recap. What does a weighing balance measure? A weighing balance measures mass, and we can tell which object is heavier as the weighing balance will tilt downwards towards the heavier object. However, for both of the diagrams here, we notice that the lever balance are balanced and is not tilting downwards towards any of the objects. What does this observation on the left tell us about the mass of object A? This means that object A and the object with 10 grams have the same mass. Therefore, object A has a mass of 10 grams. What does this diagram on the right tell us about the mass of object B? This tells us that the mass of object B is 5 grams. In the next experiment, Mutu drop both of the objects into beakers with equal amount of water. What does putting objects into water achieve? If the objects occupy space in the water, they will displace the water, causing the water level to rise. And how much the water level increases by shows the amount of water that was displaced, and from that, we can infer the volume of the objects. From this diagram, we notice that the water level at the end of the experiment are the same for both of the beakers. Let me write this here. Since the water level for both beakers at the end of the experiment are the same, what does this tell us about the amount of water displaced by both objects? Is the amount of water displaced by both objects the same or different? The amount of water displaced by both objects are the same. This means that both objects occupy the same amount of space in the beaker. Therefore, from this experiment, we can conclude that both objects have the same volume. With this, let's take a look at the options here. Option 1. Object A has the same mass and volume as object B. Do objects A and B have the same mass? No. From this experiment, we concluded that both objects have a different mass. Therefore, it is not true that both objects have the same mass and option 1 is incorrect. Option 2. Both objects have different mass and volume. Is it true that both objects have a different volume? No. From this experiment earlier on, we mentioned that both objects have the same volume. Therefore, option 2 is also incorrect. Option 3. A has a different mass from B, but both objects have the same volume. Is it true that both objects have a different mass? Yes. From this experiment, we concluded that both objects have a different mass. What about the volume of both objects? Is it the same? Yes. We concluded from this experiment that both objects have the same volume. Therefore, option 3 is correct. Last option, option 4. A has the same mass as B but a different volume from B. Is this statement true? No. We mentioned previously that objects A and B do not have the same mass and that both objects have the same volume. Therefore, the correct answer for this question should be 3. Thank you for watching and I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!